Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be filming a belated shoutouts video. So I've got, I've been doing 10 shoutouts per month, but I missed three months. So this is for January, and then it's going to have 40 shoutouts for 40 booktube channels. I explained that pretty badly. Do I have a line of hair across my head? There we go. Uh, I explained that pretty badly, but whatever. Uh, all these channels are linked to below. I will say a brief thing about each of them where I can, but I don't want to go on for too long. I will say as well, I may have given these some of these shout-outs before, but um, they're not on my master list of who I've shouted out. So now they are anyway. Who knows? Okay, so number one, we have Hannah Tay. And Hannah is just like a sort of super bubbly young woman from the United Kingdom. She lives in Bristol, I think. And uh, yeah, she has quite similar taste to me in terms of like Agatha Christie and stuff like that. She also does some great discussions. And uh, yeah, she's just a great booktuber. Definitely check her out. Number two, we have Bull Book Geek. So that is Will. And uh, Will does, well, he has a lot of the same favorite books as me, but he also does kind of read a lot of new releases, I would say, or newer releases than I do. Uh, he does, again, some really fantastic discussion videos, and he's just one of those channels that you definitely have to subscribe to. Number three, we have Harriet Rosie, and Harriet just is kind of the hub of the community in many ways. She's currently hosting or sorting out the next uh, round of Thriller-a-thon. She does some great vlogs, and I like her sort of chatty style videos and TBRs and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, check her out. And we have Kit Cats Can Read, so she's kind of my original homie booktuber. I think I've been watching her for four years or something now. I remember one Christmas a few years ago, I was randomly like binging on all of her older videos to catch up on what I'd missed. And uh, yes, just sort of very friendly, very approachable, and uh, yeah, underrated booktuber. Then we have Murphy Napier, who doesn't really need a shout out because her channel's got massive suddenly for some reason. Uh, I mean, it's a very good channel, so that's probably why. But I think she went from like 10,000 to 40,000 subscribers in like a couple of months or something. And uh, yeah, her videos are always entertaining. I like what she does to get kind of interaction going with her audience as well. And just definitely, again, one to watch. Then we have Ben Sanders. So Ben Sanders is an author tuber as well as a book tuber. He's actually written Robert Michael's The Demon in the Trees, which I've read and reviewed on my channel. And uh, yeah, he just, uh, he gives me quite a lot of kind of writing inspiration through a lot of his updates. And uh, you know, I always, I always get excited to see his post in a new video. Puck some paperbacks, and she is, I want to say she's Canadian, but I'm not too sure. But um, she's another booktuber who I've been watching for years. We don't necessarily have much crossover in taste, but I do find quite a lot of her sketches are quite funny. She's very creative as well in the way that she does a lot of her videos too. So uh, definitely check her out and uh, see if she's got any ideas you can pinch, basically. Okay, then we have Kevin, an uh, Irish reader, and uh, I'm not sure if he still does it, but he used to do Muggle Monday with uh, some Harry Potter videos. He, again, tends to do some quite creative stuff. Every time he, he gets his dad involved, I tend to laugh a lot as well, and just another booktuber I've been watching for years. Then we have April from Getting Higger With It, and um, I just find her channel very relaxing, to be honest. Um, <laughs> it's one of those channels that I can I could happily just watch while lying in bed, you know, and I'll start to doze off to it. But you know, not that I'm saying her content puts me to sleep, just that it's just chill and um, you know that that's kind of why I, I, I always watch her videos and it doesn't really matter how long they are because it's like well I'll you know I'll just have it on anyway and I'll have a lovely pleasant time. Then we have books like Whoa, Mara, Mara is you know, one of my good friends here on Booktube. She reads a lot of Agatha Christie. She's just getting started on a Mission Marple. So if you like Miss Marple, definitely check her out. And uh, yeah, we tend to like and dislike the same books as well. Then we have Paul Reed, who I believe is on a hiatus at the moment, but hopefully he'll come back. And uh, he tends to do things like unboxing. He reads a lot of horror, but he also does some YA, some hauls. He used to do uh, this week in Booktube thing as well. Yeah, definitely check out Paul Reed if you haven't already. Then we have Ali from Hardback Order. Well, I say from Hardback Order. She just is Hardback Order. And um, she's another one who's kind of... She's one of those booktubers who's got like a lot of energy, but it's not too much energy, if that makes sense. And uh, she has a very cool collection of globes. She even did a, she um, did like a, an unboxing of succulents recently, which, which I found quite interesting. So yeah, definitely check her out. We have Books and La La. Everyone knows Books and La La. Uh, I mean, her, her videos just always tend to be quite creative, but also quite welcoming as well, you know? 
Um, yeah, they just give me the happies. And we have Holly the book lover, who, again, she hasn't uploaded for a while, but she does here and there. I know she's at uni and stuff as well. And uh, she's also got a channel with her boyfriend as well, where they do like little days out and stuff. And it's quite cute. I get to find ideas for places to take people, I guess. <laughs> Then we have JD Archer, so um, he does quite a few really interesting discussion videos as well. Um, I think he's been around for quite a while now and so he has some really insightful things to share. But um, he also, we don't have the exact same taste in books but there's definitely some crossover there as well. Then we have Linda Jo Martin, the book lady, and I believe she's got a book of her own that maybe Todd has read but I have not read. But um, yeah, Linda Jo Martin, the book lady, definitely check her out. She does. Uh, she's one of the few people I watch who does kind of. Uh, she does some Christian literature as well, which isn't necessarily my thing. But I mean, it's quite interesting every now and then to sort of to even to hear about. You know, I, like it's like with romance. I'd rather listen to somebody talk about a romance novel than to read a, a romance novel. So. <laughs> Okay, then we have Madman Reads and Rocks, who is Ryan, Ryan Loera, I believe. He has he has a book out as well. Uh, he's a musician, and uh, he's been reading some of the Penguin Mini Moderns recently as well, which, which I have read, so it's been interesting to see his take on those. Then we have A Wandering Mind, who's another one of those booktubers, I think, who um, has some really insightful stuff to say, especially in discussion videos, but also, even when I've seen them, you know, talk about books that I've read, I usually tend to come away with some sort of fresh perspective on it that I hadn't thought of before as well. Then we got Matilda Gothica, I'll be honest one of my favourite things on her channel is uh, her monthly like she's got like a Darth Vader box and so each month she has something inside it and she does a little unboxing video of it but um, yeah she does um, uh, like gets a lot of stuff from the library here and there as well and um, because I believe she lives in Israel so she gets some really interesting covers and stuff as well and really you know cool editions. Then we have Old Blues Chapter and Verse, so he created the Booktube Top 10s tag, which I have done slash will be doing soon, but um, also again, he's a super supportive guy, I've seen him in comments on other people's videos, and uh, just a welcome addition to the community. Right, then we're going a bit left field with this one, because then we have PewDiePie, who has like, 82 million subscribers, so I don't think I'm going to, you know, affect the balance here, but uh, he is battling against T-Series to be the number one youtuber and uh, he has started doing recently about once about once a month he does what's effectively a monthly wrap up of, of his reading which is quite interesting then we have graham quigley he's scottish he recently did a reading of a robert burns poem for burns night which was also super cool especially in that accent and uh yeah i did january with him and we've buddy read a few things here and there you know then we have plots and points uh you know ginger with a beard basically that's all you need to know. He's currently doing a uh, read-along slash read-a-thon for uh, Andre Shapowski, or however you say his name, The Witcher books. And uh, yeah, his reviews are always super interesting as well. He's another one who always has like a new opinion to bring to stuff. Then we have Novelty Corner, who uh, is a new a new channel I've recently subscribed to, so I haven't actually really seen any of their recent videos, but I did watch a bunch of their older videos, and again, it's just one of those channels where I can just watch videos back to back for ages and not get bored, you know? The reason I have Old Blues chapter and verse down here again, so we'll just shout him out again, I guess. Then we have Unicorn Hunter books, which I don't think her name is Roya. To again, Todd's read one of her books. And I'd only actually recently got round to watching her channel, and again, I just really started to binge on it. And uh, now I do want to read one of her books as well, so looking forward to that. Then we have Winks and Ink, which as the name suggests, I believe is two people, unless I've got this wrong. I think I was mostly watching Winks when I watched them. But uh, again, this is another new channel that I've watched, uh, recently subscribed to, so I've mostly watched their older stuff and not their newer stuff. Uh, the same is true for the perks of books, but still, they're on this list because I enjoyed them, so definitely go and check those out. We have Hold JC as well, who, um, you know, I see her in the comments quite a lot on various people's channels, and uh, yeah, I like her stuff. And uh, finally, on this list, which technically makes it 39 because Old Blues Chapter and Verse was on here twice, but whatever, we have Hey Little Thrifter, who is a big point horror fan, and... Um, always interested in watching her videos because she picks up a lot of books that I remember from my childhood you know so yeah that is it for this big old massive thing of shout outs I didn't want to um, 
make it go on for too long because it's going to take long enough to edit together and whatnot as it is. And you're all busy people, but I will link to all of these channels below as well so you can check them out further. And uh, definitely, obviously, let me know in the comments if you watch any of these channels and wh what you think of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more, and I will see you soon for another Buckish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.